welcome back to Dyson Sphere program. Now in the last episode we finished these things here. And apparently I'm using all of these, yeah. I, um, I seem to recall that I uh, specified that they uh, would. I did get some more... Um, uh, what's it called again? Soil pile? Quite a bit of it as, as well in between episodes. And I uh, flattened out a nice area here because I think we should just make the bus go over there. Um, and I'm not even sure if the bus is a, an efficient way of doing this. But uh, it, it is fun to experiment with uh, whether or not it works. So, uh, that would come out here. Let's uh, dismantle these. Is that sufficient for us to... So it would seem. That's not bad. It's actually a bit surprising as well. Uh, so that means this one goes down here. And I'm not going to do this completely until I'm sure that it actually works. Okay, it works. Good. So... Maybe pull this out on the belt as well. That means we have a large area on this side where we can uh, make stuffs. That's good. And... I'm not sure... how well this will work in terms of the rest of the bus. Oh, we might have something, some things here as well, is what I'm thinking. We have a belt of copper that we're not using. As for that, I believe we have half a belt of iron. How much are we using out here? Not that much. We should actually have quite a bit of copper, no, of iron uh, to spare on that belt. Um, let's see here. For the electric motors, I'm using 270 out of 720. Yeah, so we have plenty of iron ingots left. There's coal over there. That is good. So this might be a, a nice spot for uh, petroleum then. So what I'll do then is pull this copper down here. Uh, this copper belt goes to the... Um, Assemblers that are making uh, circuit boards. How many of those? Are we using 360? So there is nothing left on that belt then, for the time being. Um, what do we need to make the basic products that we? Uh, Need for construction. We need iron. Yeah, we need iron for most of these, actually. Okay, so what I'll do then is... I'll just reserve these spots for the uh, bus, so that I know where the bus is supposed to go. Which will be even more important when we get down to this spot. Because here, it's gonna go like that. Which is not ideal. This is just looking uglier and uglier. You know what? I think I'm going to skip one of the belts here. Might have to skip a couple of them because that just looks silly. So if this belt comes here, that's better. 
This one goes straight ahead. This one goes like that. And that won't work, so we'll skip that one as well. Go to this one. That is that. This one. Uh, that doesn't work, so you have to go like that. Hello. No. This is quite the conundrum. Um... Yeah, some of these are not going to look optimal. Then this bus here, the belts that are not used, I should denote that somehow. By doing that, I suppose. Just so I know that these ones stop. So I could use those to bring more products to this place. Whereas the other belts can come down here. Not sure what to do up here. That one works. Uh, this one does not, so we'll do that. It is interesting, to put it mildly, to build on a planet with all of these um, uh, challenges that I'm not used to. Um, of course, this is not going to be completely relevant because of this. Yeah, I think we'll do it like this, actually. I don't think we need more products on the bus going down here, to be honest. And if we do, there is always the option of building a bus above the bus kind of thing, like second story. So I think that we'll, we'll use this. That isn't too close to the, um, to the um, area that I mean to use for oil. Either. So that is actually quite nice. So we do that. Those poor little robots. They are overworked. And I'm using up all my belts on this. Which probably isn't the best idea. Um, how many iron plates do I have in my inventory? Not at all many. You can just hold the mouse button down by the way, in case you need to pick up things from the belt. I'm gonna grab 121, apparently. Uh, and I believe we're making gears somewhere up here. Let's grab couple of stacks of that. I think I'm gonna 
do this as well because we need more belts. It's more efficient to pick it up from a Mark II belt than it was from a Mark I belt. Parfait. And we can make some more of these. There we go. We can connect up this. Okay, now what we want to do is... Look here, I don't want to mess with that thing. Um, we want to be far enough away. If we use this as the offset... So we want to be far enough away from it so that it's... Yeah, that looks good. And then we can have this line here with the denomination of where we want things to stop. So if we have this machine, and this one can make conveyor belts mark one. How much do you make? Well, you would need some power, I suppose. A sample room to pull the power inside of the um, bus, but I probably need to move these. On demand. Let me just copy that, because I know we're going to need two of them. So that's 45 per minute, and it's making... It is making one. Okay. And we are going to need iron plates, and I want those to come on the closest belt. And we're also going to need gears. Is this gears? Yes, this is gears. So the iron plates, that, that's going to be fairly interesting. Mm, that one. Like so. Ah, I'm using the pump belt speed here. Go out, go here, and then we connect that up to there. I, I'm not sure how much we actually are going to use in the machines. It's 45 per minute, so 90, 180 per minute. Hmm. I, I, I think that's correct. My mathematical skills have not been exactly uh, brilliant so far. Uh, of course, it's going to collide with the with the Tesla Tower. So, build one there and remove that then. I think I need to build it there. Go down and connect that up. Uh, I'm not sure if we need a Mark II storage for this, but uh, I'm going to make one anyways. And if we need to make more belts than these two machines, uh, I'm just going to make it down the line. So the most logical thing to do here actually would be to go this way. 
and then we can have a storage. If we just do some max speed thing for that. Does that allow the machine to empty out? We don't technically need to do it on the belt, but I'd like to do it on the belt. And we need gears to come into the machines and we need iron plates to do the same. I'm pretty sure that what we're using here is 90 iron ingots per minute. What's going on here? Have I connected to the belt again? Oh. Never mind. <clears throat> um, nothing to see here. I'm sure several of you were... Uh, Mentioning things, trying to connect to me by uh, telepathy in the past, explaining to me that Caledon, you're, you're, that's the wrong belt you're pulling off. Alas, it didn't work. So, but here we are. There we go. We're making belts. Good. What else do we need? We need to make these. Ah, uh, I need more electric motors for these sorters, of course. not going to be ideal. But primarily, let's make Mark II belts first. Uh, where are those engines? Did I forget to build the... Oh, I forgot to build the engines. Not that it's a big problem, because we can do that now anyways. Um, I don't want to remove that. Stop there, remove some of these, and then we take a splitter and put it here. And connect it to there. And then we can... Sometimes it... <laughs> Stop! I don't want you to connect to the upper level. There we go. Thank you. Stubborn thing. Uh, like so. Really? Oh, you know what? That's gonna be too slow for my tests. Better. How's the power looking? Yeah. Okay ish. And for the next belt, we don't really need much of a dif distance here. Um, it requires three of these. Well then, okay, then I'm going to uh, to make another one of these, actually. And, uh, never mind math. I can always add more to the production if I need to. Um, belt here. Sorter here. Good. And that will be sufficient for one single machine making Mark II belts, but that's fine, really. Um, no, I, I'm going to need to have it on the belt. 
What I can do is this. This is slightly annoying because we're going to need three of these. Um, we have a belt coming this way here. And we have a machine here. And I connect up that machine. Like so. And like so. This is just for my personal use. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Can I please... Thank you. And that belt comes here. And it needs to have these. set this to produce mark two belts In this instance i think i'm going to be content with uh mark one storage do that Okay, so this is doing its thing. Of course, we're not going to have any excess Mark 1 belts until this thing is full, but uh, we can limit this to 10 for the time being. Next up will be the sorters, but I should probably... Well, I could always build Mark 3 belts here. Instead of using too much space. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so the next thing then would be sorters. Two, three, four. Actually, how many? That requires two belts. Like that. We are still following that line. So, this machine. I need two of these. We're going to require iron ingots and circuit boards. Okay, so I'm going to have to be... wait for them to uh, add the option to upgrade a belt. If you just click quickly enough, this does work somewhat. What else do we need here? Circuit boards. Circuit boards. Where are the circuit boards? They are not on the bus. Why did I not put them on the bus? What a weird thing that I didn't do that. 
Oh well. So that would then be here. Oh. Come out here. I think that should do the trick. Build a bell like that. And connect that up to there. I don't remember how much we are making of these. We are making 720 circuit boards. Okay, well then. Uh, why did I... Okay. go and I want this to go here and then yes yes and yes this is correct this is yeah view angles are Tricky. Okay, now we need to deconstruct this belt as well now because this one needs to be a Mark II. That's probably why I didn't put it on the bus actually. Since it was Mark II, I might not have had Mark II at the time. I remember having to handcraft some of them at some point. don't want to overwork the bots by letting them have to go too far away from me. Good. And now remove this and just make the bend. And there we go. This is what I mean by not wanting to overwork the bots because now I have to wait for them because it's too far for them to fly. Technically, I don't have to wait for them, but um, I. What? No game, no! Uh, let's try this again then. And connect. Thank you. Much better. And we need two of these. And that's our circuit boards on the bus. I'm not even sure if making a bus is the most efficient thing uh, in this game at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, I rather suspect that it is not efficient whatsoever, to be honest. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier in the episode as well. Um, it just strikes me as, uh, given the, the nature of the game, uh, I still haven't watched anyone else play anything of the game. That's a mark. One of these... You are Mark II. Um, so I don't know too much, but I, I have understood that uh, things do change 
such an extent that at some at one point the um it's a one one uh, a bus just might be detrimental of course that doesn't stop me from making one we needed here would be iron and circuit boards. to have to handcraft some more uh, splitters very soon. Can I do that while I'm doing other things? Sure I can. Good. And we don't need a Mark II belt coming in here, I think. A squig, an interesting squig. That one goes there, that one goes there. What? How does it even do that? Game logic and all that. Okay, so now we're making the uh, sorters. And I don't think I need a large storage for these. So if we just put down a small one here, I think we can even limit it to 10 happily. And 10 might even be too much. And then let's just use one of these high speed ones to get them on the, into that container. And then these gets out. Okay, so now we're making the sorters. And then we need to go for the sorters mark 2. Question is... These produce 45 per minute, so this is 90. Yeah. I don't know how much I'm going to use the Mark 1s and of these eventually. I mean, why would I use them when I can use the Mark 2s or even the Mark 3s? But I think I'm going to slap down two more of these. So that we get the ratio correct here. Um, we might not have enough raw materials for this. Time will show. We have plenty on the belt right now, but um, that doesn't mean we will have so in near future. And then we can have a belt going up. Not needed to go very far. Because this one requires two, and then one. Ah, we need one belt coming in. I would have liked this belt to be closer to the machines, but uh, I'll just use Mark III uh, sorters instead of Mark II. And for these... 
we are going to need electric motor so we need to have two of these uh we are we are pulling i mean we are busing the electric motors here so Somehow, I suspect that I have the wrong belt speed for the uh, gears as well. No, I don't. Good. We definitely do not have the wrong belt speed for the electric motors because uh, we are not producing enough of them, uh, in honesty. As long as we're using the... Um, Whatever they're called, electromagnetic, electromagnetic turbines. We don't really have enough of the um, of the um, electric motors, so I might have to make more electric motors. But uh, we're gonna wing it. As I say so. High speed output will suffice for these. We need this to go. What do you mean collide with object? And power. Actually, there is a good reason to use the uh, Mark One soldiers, and that is uh, to not do things too quickly at certain points. <laughs> Didn't think of that until now. Uh, now we need a belt coming down with that. And a storage, which we are going to limit to 10. And then we can have... Uh, I really don't need that high speed for that. Uh, like so, and out you go. This one requires the turbines again, and um, yeah, this is... Uh, I'm not sure if I need to overproduce for this kind of stuff, but... Um, okay, here we don't need a belt. I'm just going to have one machine. But there needs to be a space. Actually, there needs to be two spaces because I need a belt coming down here. And you're supposed to make sorter mark three. And you just do that. And the other machine part we need is an electromagnetic turbine, which is all the way up there. I need some more belts. Handle it, I can just go pick some up now because I've built them all. Yay! The age of handcrafting, um, somewhat, is behind us. Everybody rejoice. How are all these Mark 1 belts? Yes, they actually are. Okay, now the, what we needed to go off here is mm, the turbines. 
so let's do that. So that means removing one, two, three here. Rotating that. it like that, go down, connect up, connect out, and then a simple little sorter like that should do the trick. This one can also be limited to I think five. And then boom and boom. And now we have belts and sorters being produced, which I think is uh, not at all that bad. That sound sounded weird. That reminds me of the sound in Satisfactory when you're out of power. Okay, now... We should uh, wrap up the episode, but um, let's uh, do this. We need to continue uh, with them all. Uh, the other things we need to produce are uh, splitters. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to bother producing the storages. Um, solar panels. I suppose I could handcraft them, but why would I? So, the oil extractors I'm definitely going to handcraft. And I also think I'm going to handcraft the mining machines because you don't really need that many of them. Uh, at least not yet. So for now, I think I'm going to handcraft them. Uh, the smelters. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. The thing is, I'm going to need stone on the bus. Labs are definitely a no. Assembling machines. It's not that big of a deal to handcraft them, but it would be nice to just go be able to go pick them up. There are some crossovers in terms of products as well. Um, like this one needs iron gears and circuit boards. This one needs iron, stone, circuit boards, and electromagnetic turbines. Now here's a, here's a crossover. I can make these on the same lane of the bus. And if I make these, I suppose I could make those on the same lane as well. Thermal power stations. Electromagnetic uh, oils. Am I using them for anything currently on the bus? Yes, I might have a. I'm going to take a look at this in between episodes now and see what I can pull off the uh, the main bus and which products I can make in kind of like a, a row going downwards here. And then we should finish up the, the mall thing in the next episode. Um, and... Um, yeah... I am probably going to require more basic products. So far it seems fine. It 
doesn't seem to be any uh, massive uh, production issues based on lack of uh, raw materials. So I'm happy with that. Anyways, we should wrap up this episode now. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, as per usual, please feel free to leave them in the comment section of the video. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you all in the next episode.